Every single day, millions of people around the world reach for a Pepsi, eagerly anticipating that signature crispness that has become synonymous with the brand. But have you ever stopped to wonder how this beloved drink makes it from the factory to your hands? What does it take to produce millions of bottles daily, each with the same refreshing taste and perfect carbonation? In today's video, we'll take you on an exclusive tour inside an American Pepsi factory, where modern technology and meticulous processes meet to produce this iconic beverage on an enormous scale. If you're a Pepsi enthusiast just like us, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and tag along for this exciting journey. Stick around until the end because what you discover about Pepsi's production may just change the way you enjoy your next sip. And hey, your support means a lot. It helps us continue bringing fascinating factory stories like these. Pepsi's allure isn't just about sugar and fizz, it's a perfectly crafted symphony of flavors designed to hit your taste buds just right. The distinct sweetness comes from high fructose corn syrup, which delivers a consistent sweetness without overwhelming the palate. The slight hint of citrus adds a refreshing tang that balances the drink's sweetness and makes it feel less heavy than other sodas. This delicate blend is no accident. Pepsi's recipe is the result of decades of research and flavor optimization, ensuring it appeals to a wide variety of consumers. The flavor also taps into psychological factors. Research shows that Pepsi's sweetness and acidity activate pleasure centers in the brain, similar to the effect of chocolate. That's why you find yourself reaching for a second can, or even a third. While some brands rely heavily on sugar content, Pepsi's flavor engineers have perfected a formula that feels refreshing without the cloying aftertaste. This careful attention to detail is one of the reasons Pepsi has remained a top contender in the global beverage market for over a century. In recent years, PepsiCo has taken significant steps towards sustainable packaging to reduce its environmental impact. One of the most noteworthy moves is the introduction of refillable glass bottles. These bottles aren't just eco-friendly, they also enhance the drinking experience. Glass preserves carbonation better than plastic, keeping the soda fizzier for longer. Plus, it eliminates any risk of the drink picking up off flavors from plastic, offering a purer taste. The refillable bottle system is designed to reduce waste. After consumers return their empty bottles, they are thoroughly cleaned, sterilized, and refilled. This closed-loop system minimizes waste and encourages repeat purchases, contributing to both environmental goals and customer loyalty. Pepsi has also introduced a new generation of plastic bottles made from recycled materials, further reducing its carbon footprint. These sleek black bottles are a striking visual on store shelves, but they come with a recycling challenge. Black plastic absorbs infrared light, making it difficult for automated sorting systems at recycling plants to identify and process them. While these bottles are aesthetically appealing, PepsiCo has faced criticism from environmental groups concerned about their impact on waste streams. In response, PepsiCo is actively researching innovative ways to make black bottles more sustainable. One promising solution involves redesigning the plastic formula to make it detectable by recycling scanners. Another idea under consideration is adding unique markers to the bottles, allowing them to be easily sorted and recycled. This commitment to finding sustainable solutions reflects Pepsi's broader efforts to balance design innovation with environmental responsibility. Step inside a Pepsi factory, and you'll be greeted by a world where technology takes center stage. The production process is almost entirely automated, with machines performing tasks at lightning speed. From cleaning and filling bottles to capping and labeling them, every step is meticulously choreographed to ensure consistency and efficiency. It all begins with the cleaning process, where bottles, both plastic and glass, are thoroughly washed and inspected by high-speed cameras. Even the slightest imperfection leads to rejection, ensuring only flawless bottles move forward. Next, the bottles glide along conveyor belts toward the filling stations, where robots inject precisely measured amounts of Pepsi syrup and carbonated water into each one. The machines are so precise that they can fill thousands of bottles per minute without a single spill. Once filled, the bottles are capped and sealed to lock in freshness. Robotic arms then arrange the bottles into crates or cartons, preparing them for shipment. Throughout the process, human supervisors monitor operations to ensure everything runs smoothly. PepsiCo's product line extends beyond soda to include ready-to-drink iced coffee, a favorite among busy professionals. 
These beverages offer the perfect balance of coffee, milk, and sweetness, providing a consistent taste experience that's hard to replicate at home. Unlike homemade coffee, which can vary in flavor and strength, Pepsi's iced coffee is produced under controlled conditions to ensure every bottle tastes the same. The production process involves brewing large batches of high-quality coffee, which is then blended with milk and sugar in precise proportions. Once mixed, the coffee is chilled and bottled, ready to be enjoyed on the go. The convenience of ready-to-drink coffee appeals to consumers with hectic schedules, making it a popular choice in the fast-paced modern world. PepsiCo's factories aren't just about drinks, they also produce a wide range of foods, including spicy noodles, bubblegum gummies and chocolate biscuits. In the noodle section, the process begins with mixing flour, water and salt to create a dough. This dough is rolled out into thin sheets cut into noodles and steamed to achieve the perfect texture. Inside the factory precision automation and assembly line magic. Next, the noodles are flash-fried, decked, and flavored and packaged with seasoning packets for quick and easy preparation at home. The confectionery section is equally impressive. Bubble gum is poured into molds and shaped by specialized machines, while gummy candies are fully portioned into jars using advanced counting systems. In the biscuit section, robotic arms fill crispy waffle biscuits with layers of smooth chocolate, creating a treat that's impossible to resist. Pepsi Ice Coffee, a hidden gem for caffeine lovers. While Coca-Cola keeps its recipe locked away in a vault, Pepsi takes a different approach by showcasing its production process openly. The factory tour reveals the precision with which Pepsi combines carbonated water and syrup to create its signature drink. Each bottle is carefully filled, capped, and labeled to ensure the perfect balance of flavor and fizz. The use of glass bottles plays a key role in enhancing the drinking experience. Unlike plastic, glass preserves carbonation better, giving Pepsi an extra fizz that sets it apart. Watching the production line in action, it's clear that every detail, from the alignment of bottle nozzles to the speed of conveyor belts, is carefully managed to deliver the highest quality product. Pepsi's packaging is more than just functional. It's a carefully crafted experience designed to appeal to both the eyes and the emotions. The bright colors, bold fonts, and tactile surfaces of Pepsi cans and bottles are the result of extensive research into consumer psychology. PepsiCo knows that packaging plays a crucial role in attracting customers and enhancing their enjoyment of the product. In the factory, robotic arms swiftly stack bottles and cans into cartons, wrapping them securely for transport. The packaging process is a marvel of efficiency with machines working in perfect sync to ensure every unit is ready for shipment without a single mix-up. PepsiCo also produces energy drinks, catering to consumers who need a quick pick-me-up. These drinks are packed with caffeine, vitamins, and electrolytes, offering both refreshment and functionality. As with other products, the factory ensures that energy drinks are processed with the utmost care to maintain their quality and freshness. Before throwing away your empty Pepsi bottle, consider its potential for creative reuse. With a bit of imagination, these bottles can be transformed into vases, candle holders, or even planters. This approach not only reduces waste but also adds a personal touch to home decor, demonstrating how everyday items can be repurposed in meaningful ways. As the production process nears completion, each bottle and can undergoes a final inspection to ensure it meets PepsiCo's rigorous standards. Machines check for defects in labels, caps, and packaging, ensuring that only perfect products leave the factory. Once approved, the products are boxed, labeled, and loaded onto pallets, ready to be shipped to stores across the country. The journey starts far from the shelves of your local grocery store. It begins in the fields, cocoa pods ripening under the sun, hazelnuts being harvested, sugar beets dug up from the earth, Today, we're peeling back the layers and diving into the entire process from Cocoa Pod to Nutella Jar. So grab a snack and stick around, we're about to explore how this fan favorite spread goes from farm to factory and finally into your hands. We will begin our journey at the Cocoa Plantations. Cocoa, it's possible that you've heard it wrong. Although most of us are familiar with it as an ingredient in chocolate, few of us have ever seen the actual production process. Imagine a forest of verdant tropical trees, 
each one clustered with a plethora of golden cocoa pods. Using their machetes as if they were an extension of their arm, skilled laborers systematically traverse the fields. They are exceedingly precise, picking only the ripest pods and letting the rest ripen to perfection. Working with cocoa pods, which contain the seeds that will grow into beans, is a physically demanding and time-sensitive process. The flavor of your Nutella actually starts with these seeds. Workers carefully load up big baskets with the harvest, taking care not to break any pods along the way. The following phase starts after they have collected a haul. On the way to the processing factory, the workers check each basket full of pods to make sure they are still of the highest quality. The first transition occurs when the pods arrive at the processing plant. In order to remove any dirt, leaves, or other impurities that may have accompanied them from the farm, they are spread out on tables and scrubbed clean by either humans or machines. The delicate cocoa flavor could be ruined if any contaminants are introduced at this critical stage. When the pods start to shine, it's time to open them. Workers carefully crack open each pod using sharp instruments, exposing rows of shiny wet cocoa beans enclosed by a gooey white pulp. The beans still don't resemble chocolate in any significant way, they resemble soft, chewy seeds at the moment. The secret to Nutella's famous flavor is actually inside these beans, so don't be deceived. Scooping out the beans from the pods is the next step. Although this step requires a lot of manual labor, every bean is important. The objective is straightforward. Preserve the integrity of each and every useful seed while extracting it. The beans are sorted after they are freed to make sure only the best ones move on to the next step. The ones that make it through the inspection can be dried. Now the air drying process, which is gradual and steady, will now begin. You would be correct in picturing these beans being baked in the scorching sun. The beans are spread out on huge drying platforms and allowed to soak up the heat. Not only will this make them dry, but it will also bring out their natural flavor. As they dry, the beans lose water, which concentrates their chocolatey flavor. Depending on the weather and the unique requirements of each batch, this procedure can take days or even longer. The beans are ready for quality testing when they are completely dried. Professionals step in at this point. They listen for the sound of cracked beans in addition to size, color, and scent when evaluating beans. After each bean is examined, it is placed aside and marked for the next stage of the process. However, batches are either reprocessed or rejected if they do not fulfill the stringent quality standards.